Okay, Isaac Righteous. So we worked on relative minors today. That means a new tonic, but the same scale. So new tonic, same notes. The opposite of that is the parallel minor, which is, it just flips. So that means the same tonic, E minor to E major, but a new set of notes. So this week I want you to play your G scale, I mean a G chord, and the static scale, two octaves. Attack in the active scale, and then that little triad plus oh, just a little quieter if you don't mind, Bob. Sorry. And that's all your G space. Okay, the relative minor is E. You find that by going eight seven six. So in C, it's eight seven six A minor, and in F, it's eight seven six D minor. So E minor scales will go. scale and the static patch based on D minor shape okay and then contrast your E minor with E major which is parallel and E minor okay for Lenny not Lenny unknown make your D low E Sound like your D, and then your A, sound like your G. Two basic patches of notes here. You have an A-shaped D chord that he pretty much sustains. And then, um, so whenever the D is in the bass, that's your chord. If you add your pinky, you have a beautiful five, six note D chord that's the foundation of the song. And then the other chord he does is that he uses the open A bass, puts his ring finger on the D string. So you get this kind of a four chord, like a G chord. And I can't remember the exact phrase, but the vibe is this. The vibe is here. It's like... How did I do it? It's in the tab. all these pretty licks that I tabbed out but I just can't remember them in that position so contrast those two chords use the tab and do the licks use the recording to guide you and uh, continue to work on Lenny and we'll listen to both next week <laughs>